Have you ever felt nostalgic and rewatched the Just Cause 3 trailers and showcases? If so, you might have noticed a few things that don't look quite right. However, among all the smaller changes and mistakes, there is one thing that slipped through that's bigger than the rest. An entire island that's not even in the game. You have to keep in mind that the first trailers and showcases were made before the game was 100% finished. Avalanche was still fine tuning a lot of the smaller things, so there are a lot of smaller differences to the final game. So let's go over all the little things rapid fire before getting to the big one. Like, isn't there supposed to be a road here? And this road just exists twice. And this one here is green? The UI has little differences here and there as well. And in some places it looks completely different, like in the gear mods menu. Even a height indicator for air vehicles. And here you can even see debug text that slipped through. Of course, you also get some landscapes that look a lot more empty than they do in the regular game. The airfield in this shot also doesn't have fences, which makes it look a lot more bland. This garage is actually supposed to be here. This rocket launcher looks different. And the tethers have a green glow to them. If you look very close, you can even see a different looking bomb radical on the bomber jet. There's the police car, but it looks all new instead of abandoned. Then there's the rebel warship that looks completely different. But then you start to see the more obvious changes, like... What exactly is this tower at the big military base? And where exactly is this random tower supposed to be? But then, there's the big one. I'll let you watch it first, see if you can spot it. Just Cause 3 revolutionizes the open world genre. One massive explosion at a time. Did you catch it? If you did, then I'm really impressed. This place. Where is this? It looks like a Bavarian mine, but none of the ones that are in Just Cause 3 look anything like this. Well, just like in the last video, the answers can be found in the leaked Just Cause 3 beta build. Not only can we find this island there, but also a lot of other islands that are not in the regular game. I'll make a full video about this at some point, so get subscribed. But for now, let's focus on what we're here for. The island is located above the main island, pretty much where La Crema is now. We'll get to the mine in a bit, let's start all the way at the top. But apart from an amazing view and some glitchy terrain, there's not much up here. So let's begin our way down. The next thing we come across is a green road. That leads to the Bavaria mine. So after driving down, we're almost there. And here's your first view of the mine itself. It's a lot bigger than the trailer made it out to be. Pretty much the only things up here on this higher area is a warehouse and this test asset over here. There's also a giant hole behind them, but nothing can be found here. Well then, let's move on to the main mine now. And you can actually find a surprising amount of stuff here. Of course, you've got some chaos objects here and there, a drop area for the scrapyard scramble minigame, some warehouses, vehicles, and of course the big crane. You can also find some soldiers, and even what looks to be an early version of the EMP truck. And just quickly for those wondering what's under the scrapyard scramble gate, it's just a small cave. Leading out of the mine are these two roads, which eventually merge into one, and it looks like they wanted to put a tunnel at the end. And for some reason, there's underwater plants here. Our next destination is over there, at the lighthouse. Apart from the lighthouse itself, there's also this small volcanic crater. However, Riku can actually walk on there without getting hurt. It's also got these rock structures that you can climb on. And finally it has this small tunnel where we can leave and head to the next area. The last major place is the little farm area that's next to the mine. And not only do we have this lake here, this place actually looks really nice. We've also got these two boats here having a moment, but more importantly, the water lilies you can see here are never actually seen in the final game. What a shame. Moving on to the main area then, we've got a few houses, cows, NPCs and a big area with different farm crown types. And for some reason underwater plants again, I guess. 
We also have these unique trees that look like they were meant for fall or perhaps a desert biome. There's also a rebel tomb, but it doesn't work. And that is about it for the main places on this island. So let's give you a quick look at some other places. On the back of the island, besides the forest, there's also this big cutoff. Why this is a thing, I have no idea. Maybe that's just where the map ends and they run out of space. You can grapple to this just fine. It just looks really funky how the terrain texture gets stretched along the wall. Right above the cutoff wall, there's some rock structures that would make for some really cool places for stunts. But apart from this, that's about it for this island. So why was it taken out of the game? Or was it ever meant to be part of the game in the first place? This is the most polished looking island of the test locations in this test build. So I can kind of see that they wanted to put this into the game. On the other side, Square Enix's marketing team that makes the trailers could have also mistaken it for a place that was supposed to be in the game and accidentally put it in. I am more leaning towards the idea that this was actually going to be in the game though, since in this test build of the game, this island appears in the intro cutscene several times, but there's no way to say for sure. I will link that cutscene in the description so you can check it out, together with this test build so you can explore it yourself. But that's about it for this video. Let me know what you think in the comments, and I'll see you in the next video.